Are you currently shipping from home or your warehouse to Amazon FBA or any operation within e-commerce? Then this is going to be a fantastic video series for you and a training series for you where we are calling this Warehouse Secrets. These warehouse secrets have been gathered from the last six years in our own personal journey where we started at home. We was initially shipping from our dining room, our warehouse, our hallway, our kitchen. And um, I'm sure that you'll be able to relate if you're at home. Then we moved into our first 2000 square foot warehouse 12 months later. And then recently in the last sort of 12 months, we've actually moved into this 10,000 square foot warehouse. And throughout this entire journey, we have learned so much when it comes to uh, pre-warehouse considerations, uh, the questions and the considerations that you have to make before you actually commit to a warehouse, then actually what you're looking for in terms of committing to a warehouse, then in terms of actually getting set up and everything that you need to consider actually getting your operations set up in your warehouse, all the way to staff members and actually employment and HR, and then ultimately the processes and systems that you've got inside your warehouse. This is gonna be a great resource for you. I'm gonna leave no stone unturned, and I'm super excited for you to be here because this is something that I've wanted to talk about for some time. I've got a number of topics over the years which we have covered in warehouse-related um, tutorials and vlogs and uh, over the shoulders, and we've done a, a number of different videos over the last sort of 36 to 48 months where underneath this video, there's going to be, I've collected everything together. I've collected everything together on the, the initial page of this Warehouse Secrets training program, where I've collected all these videos together from all the different topics that we've covered in the past in one big library. You'll be able to scroll along the, the, the page, the different topics, but this training series is now going to actually structure this in order. So, what are we gonna cover? We're gonna cover um, initially an introduction, right? An introduction to e-commerce and Amazon FBA warehouses. This is gonna be applicable if you are currently shipping at home, you've got ambition to go into a warehouse, you may already be in a warehouse, because we're gonna talk about just the introduction and ultimately what's possible. Then we're gonna talk about all these pre-warehouse considerations. What is it that you need to think about in your business before you actually go into a warehouse? Are you ready for a warehouse? Then we're gonna talk about finding the right warehouse. What have I learned about finding the, the, the warehouses that we've actually moved into and committed to? What are the things that we've thought about? Space, offices, toilets, um, security, access, all these different things that we have to consider when we start thinking about actually, um, okay, this is the warehouse for me. I've learned some um, over the years, we've viewed some warehouses, we've rejected some, and there's been reasons for that, which we're gonna talk about. We're then gonna talk about, okay, you've committed into a warehouse, how do you get prepared for ultimately your first shipments? You know what equipment do you need? What tools do you need? Um, how do you need to get set up in the warehouse? Everything from internet to the, the resources that you need. Everything from chairs, tables, um, all the materials in terms of bubble wrap and, and boxes and knives and tape dispensers. We're gonna cover everything in that too. And then we're gonna talk about what well, staff employment, right? HR, um, human resources. How do you actually attract um, somebody, how do you apply and get a, a, you know, you've got a vacancy in your business, interview process, onboarding process, training processes. We're gonna put this into a fantastic resource for you. And then finally, ongoing management, growth and streamlining. So this video is just gonna be sort of the int introduction to what we're going to be talking about. Like I say, uh, we are going to collect everything that we've done in, in the past as like a library warehouse vault, which you can get access to down below. And then we're going to actually structure this in order. Allow me to share with you um, the, the primary reasons for why I'm doing this. The first primary reason is over the last four or five years, 
after creating our business and um, our um, fulfillment service, our prep service, we've had the pleasure of serving amazing amounts of partners and we've shipped literally uh, millions of units at this point, right? Over the, the pandemic alone, we shipped like over half a, half a million units just in a short period of time. And we've also been able to develop systems that are able, we can replicate to other locations. So a part of our franchise, we've actually got um, a couple of warehouses in the UK, a couple in the, the USA, and now we're going into the EU too. So we've learned a lot in terms of the, 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 the process. And a byproduct of the, the systems that we have has been a number of our partners um, have been able to use us as a service. They've grown so much, and then they've actually wanted to get out in their own warehouse. And we really believe in um, having a resource and having support for our partners, no matter where they're at, right? So when you're just getting started, we've got lots of resources. If you wanted to join us and actually use us as a service, we've got loads of programs, training, personal um, uh, strategy plans and everything that we develop for our partners. And then the back end of that, the success of, of, of growing to the point where our partners want to move out into a warehouse, that's where this now comes in. Because up until this point, I've been able to share with our partners like one-off videos, um, look, this is what we do here. Um, I've done this vlog there and I've done that vlog there and it's all been very I don't want to call it hit and miss but it's been very like uh, check out this video this is a vlog now is the time to have something structured so when our partners do have incredible success and continue they want to move on and evolve their business we now actually have a program a an actual resource to provide to them which goes step by step by step which is that transition but also I've had an amazing amount of questions through social media on uh, YouTube, Instagram, people asking us like, what tools do we use? What table sizes do we have? Um, what, what is the actual management systems that we have? How do we employ staff, the training, the onboarding we've had? And I've been able to, to I'm trying to answer as much as I possibly can, but I've never had somewhere that I could actually point people towards as well. So. That's why this is gonna be a fantastic sort of uh, on the go uh, creation of a, a program that is going to be really, really valuable to you if you're interested in all this warehouses. Okay, so this has just been a bit of a foundation, a bit of an introduction. So just as an introduction, what is possible? For me, I've always, um, when I was an electrical engineer, uh, I was a part of uh, steelworks, very much manufacturing, very much streamlining the process, everything from raw materials to the finished sort of product. And a part of our engineering sort of training has been, was in manufacturing, it was of streamlining, it was of automation and systems. And that's why when I first started my business back in 2015, I immediately, all the lessons that I learned, I put into our living room and I put into our dining room. Everything from um, the different stages of shipping, from receiving and inbound, to shipment creation, to actually processing, to shipment completion, to quality control. And, and I started to structure all this. This was the, the really early foundations. And then over the years, it, this has evolved and become more, um, just more of a, uh, an advanced and then a more of a, uh, just the smarter systems, more evolved systems. We've learned so much of what works, what doesn't work. To the point now where we've got an inbound team, we've got a shipment creation team, we've got a picking team, we've got processing team, we've got quality control team, we've got completion team. We have uh, this big puzzle, right? This big machine um, and all the different cogs coming together uh, and we continue to streamline. So we've learned all this and I always wanted to get involved in that. I've always loved the idea of everything to do with warehouses. So um, the more I have the pleasure of talking to, to people that want that love to do the same, 
I, I, I love it. This, I mean, this is this is what I would call my, you know, my passion. This is the the bread and butter, if you like. This is the. I wake up in the morning. I'm excited to talk about this stuff. Uh, so that's one of the reasons why we did what we did. Um, then what's possible? Okay. So ultimately, what's possible is the sky's the limit for you. Um, depending on what business model that you want to get involved in, whether it is just seeing uh, somebody just uh, coming in as a as an inbound here. Um, depending on what business model that you do, whether it's everything from retail arbitrage to online arbitrage to wholesale to private label to your own website, your own brand, a warehouse operation could be applicable to you. Um, what's possible, it allows you to grow at much bigger levels and much bigger scale to the point where we were only shipping from home everything we possibly could you know a couple of hundred units here or there now in a big warehouse obviously with a big operation with staff members and a systemized process we can now ship literally hundreds of thousands of units so it's it's ultimately scale that's what's possible you can diversify into other business models. You can start to really systemize and scale your FBM or your, your Shopify, or you want to go out to eBay. You can really diversify, not just FBA, but also just as your distribution network to, um, to all the different sales channels that you have. You also have the ability to build great relationships. Everything from supplier relationships, people coming to your place of work to come and visit. You know, that's that's a fantastic thing. Um, being able to have a supplier, a wholesaler, a brand, an uh, exclusive brand, uh, whoever it might be, to come to the warehouse and actually meet you in person. You can walk them around your operation. That is going to be fantastic. Whereas, for example, if you are um, at home, it becomes a little bit more difficult. You can really diversify what you use the warehouse for so we've used it to host events we've used it to host our platinum partners our inner circle members um, masterminds um, I've got partners that we use uh, for different services and they've, they've come in and had some time with us uh, days here or there um, we've been able to diversify it into our fulfillment service um, which is a fantastic way to actually utilize a warehouse like this it's, it, the sky is the ultimately the limit when it comes to using a warehouse and, and, and actually operating from a warehouse um, then obviously we start going into the considerations on what what do you need to consider and what what is the end goal for you that's one of the things that you've got to think about are you actually do you want to go into a warehouse do you want to have everything that comes with a warehouse? Everything from staff employment to legal, to everything that you need to do from an accounting point of view, your, um, you know, your legal obligations and, and tax, and uh, diff maybe business rates, depending on the size that you're at. Um, all these things, is that what you actually want to do? Because some people don't want to do that, and some people don't want that place of work. Some people don't want they just want to become free and they they maybe use a service like us our systemized fulfillment and they they'd, they'd rather just continue to build their business through us and continue to use us or some people actually know that they want to use a warehouse and they want to scale to a warehouse but it's maybe not the right time for them yet so they join a, a service like ours and we and it's like a stepping stone um okay i'm going to use you and actually build the business through you and then when the time's right, you've scaled to the point where you're now doing you know, tens of thousands of units or um, w whatever it might be, whenever it's applicable to you and all these things we're going to talk about, then it's like, okay, I'm at a size now, I'm going to go into my own unit. So there's, there's variations to why this is something that you, you're going to be interested in. Um, I'm super, super excited about it. So how this is gonna work is, if you check the link down below, we're going to first of all collect the, the library, okay, the, the library of all our history, and then we're gonna actually go through um, a sort of a multi-part training where I'm gonna cover from a bird's eye view, pre-warehouse considerations, um, finding the warehouse and some, some frequently asked questions in there, 
Um, once we're in the warehouse, some of the things that you're going to have to think about to actually get up and running, and then uh, you know the the equipment and everything that you're going to need, and then uh, I think it's going to be a great resource for you. And then what the outcome to this is also going to be a sort of a step by step resource that one we could provide to our partners, and then two we're going to be able to provide to you if you're interested in getting continuous support an actual uh, program um, that we're going to be creating in real time with you um, at the end of this too okay so uh, there's a bit of a, a there's a, a great primary focus of this we want to support our partners but a secondary uh, great idea that uh, a byproduct of this is there's going to be a resource for you all in one place so um, if you've got any questions whatsoever if you've got any frequently asked questions, if you've got any comments whatsoever, please comment down below. We will capture all that and we will put it into this training. So, as always, my name's Kev and uh, supporting you absolutely every single day. As I always say, taking massive action every single day. And I look forward to seeing you in the first video of this Warehouse Secrets training program. And um, I look forward to seeing you there. Click down the link down below and get access to this library it's going to give you some great foundational um, content all a bit scattered vlogs tutorials where I've discussed things but it'll get you up to date with everything that we've actually experienced up until this point so I look forward to seeing you in the next video please give it a big thumbs up please consider hitting that subscribe button and I'll speak to you very very soon bye bye